like it or hate it, invest in it or don't invest in it. But one thing is sure, that we cannot ignore cryptocurrencies. Hey there everyone, Hatesh here and in this video, I would like to talk a little bit about the cryptocurrencies, blockchain and one of the biggest event that we are seeing right in front of us, which is going to become the biggest case study of all. A lot of time people like to study these case study things when event has already happened. That's what we call looking up into the history. But we are kind of a unique position. We are a, in a unique generation that we can see a lot of technological advancement to witness them right in front of eyes and become a part of such case studies. And one such event is accepting cryptocurrencies. So I'm pretty sure some of you might have already heard or some of you might be getting this as a news that El Salvador is the first country to accept cryptocurrency as a legal tender. And by the term legal tender, I mean to say as legal as a United States dollar or any currency that you are trading right now as just a regular day to day life. Now, why am I calling this El Salvador's event as the most epic and historic event in the history? Because this event is going to act as what to do, what not to do in the history of cryptocurrencies. This is going to be a deciding factor whether other countries are going to accept cryptocurrencies or are going to totally bail out on that. Cryptocurrencies right now is a highly debatable subject. People are totally with it or totally against in it. But one thing is sure that you cannot just shrug that under the rug. You, you have to talk about it. You need to be aware of that. Even if you are a technological enthusiast or not, you have to talk about it. El Salvador is not the country which probably is in your number one list to travel around. There is a lot of things which is happening in El Salvador. Uh, crime rate is pretty much high and it's not really the friendliest country to walk around in. And it's also facing a lot of trouble already money wise and how the governance should be there. Now this cryptocurrency move can actually totally bail out the country and provide us a big good template to what can happen when you accept the cryptocurrencies or actually can totally wipe out the entire thing from the existence. So this is going to be a great case study to see and witness around. Now we already know the basics of it. If a country has accepted the bitcoins as a legal tender, what they are looking forward is inviting all these big whales which are holding the cryptocurrencies, maybe some investment and stuff like that. And which is also mentioned in the news article which I was reading today. So it says that the high point of El, El Salvador's publicity offense was the invitation of some 30 Bitcoin entrepreneurs to visit the country and meet the government official. The most important thing here is that uh, the leading of the delegation was Brock Peers. Now, in case you don't know much about the Brock Peers, he's the guy who is kind of a flamboyant in the Bitcoin world and also has run for the presidency. So there is a lot going on. One of the best thing and the worst thing at the same time that has happened to the blockchain is Bitcoin. The entirety of the blockchain technology is being seen through the glass of the Bitcoin and through the money mind only. And one of the reasons why we are talking about the blockchain is because of the Bitcoin and its hype around. Now from last couple of months, in fact from last six months, I have been taking interest in the blockchain as well as the Bitcoin as well. I'm reading every news article and every publishing that I can get my hands through and as much as I'm getting more time. In fact, at one point of time, I thought to move two or three percent of my portfolio into the blockchain as well, but haven't done that yet. I think blockchain could be really an amazing technology in general, but we are not getting much attention on the products or the services that are created around the blockchain and we get only the hype when something happened related to Bitcoin, either the fall or the rise, something related to the Bitcoin. I think Bitcoin is now considered more as a commodity that you just buy it and look forward to sell it to somebody uh, with a higher value. I, I'm sure I could be wrong here but that's what I have seen as of now. But this is not all going to be in the future. In the future we can see this blockchain as a technology in general is being adopted and is being offered to you by AWS and Microsoft Azure directly so you can create your own blockchain and can start working on that. This brings us to a lot of companies which will be expanding more and will be offering you services and products which are based on the blockchain. But how famous are they going to be? That is a big question. Now as a very optimistic person I would love to see in the future where companies are using blockchain and are coming up to solve amazing amount of problem which are not related to money itself which are not just based on some coins and stuff or are we so much in the deep of depth of the blockchain that we cannot now separate money from the product itself as a blockchain i don't know what's what's going to happen in the future but definitely this is worth taking a look 
So what's the conclusion of this video? This video has no conclusion at all. This is moreover like an update to remind you that there is something interesting happening in the world of blockchain and you should keep an eye. And if you have watched this video so far here, I'm pretty sure YouTube is going to do its job at best along with Google and will, be, will bombard you with all the information related to blockchain for the next few days. Also, it would be really interesting to see that how El Salvador is going to act as a blueprint, a kind of a template that how and what to do, what not to do when you accept Bitcoin as your legal tender. I'm pretty sure very soon more countries will do a death case study on the El Salvador and will try to either accept Bitcoin as a legal tender or will totally block all the uh, cryptocurrencies. I think this is a greatest time to be alive. What a time that we are seeing in front of us. From seeing that the invention of the mobile to getting mobile in hands of everybody now working on these apps and now even the transformation of entire currency. What a time to be alive. So make sure you embrace this special time and try to keep your eyes open around what's happening all over the world. It is not compulsory to download some app and invest in bitcoins and stuff, but it is important that you keep an eye on that. That's it for this video. I'll bring you more updates about the cryptocurrencies as well as moreover on the tech and programming side in the future. So make sure if you're interested on that, try considering hitting that subscribe button. And definitely I'm going to catch you up in the next video. Let me know, let me know.